Hi, I'm Toby from ableton.com and ableton.course.de. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can set up your drums to trigger visuals. So you need hybrid drums or you need electronic drums or anything which will produce any MIDI and then uh, it will be routed via Ableton Live into Arena from Resolume. So let's have a look how this works. So first of all, let me show you my setup. I got um, different trigger and trigger bars and the foot pedal going into a Roland TM2 and then this Roland TM2 sending out MIDI going into my computer via a Scarlett Focusrite. So in Ableton um, I have the Scarlett as my MIDI input and um, this is where I'm triggering sounds. So there are no sounds coming at the moment from my TM2. It's just going all through MIDI and it's all just happening in Ableton Live. I got a second MIDI channel here where I'm receiving the um, MIDI from my TM2 via my Scarlett. And um, this is actually being sent to an internal, internal IAC driver, which is really easy to set up on a Mac. Um, you just need to go into your audio MIDI setup and on Windows you need to install something, a uh, small app which is called MIDI Loop. Um, there is a description on how to set this up for Mac and Windows in the video description. So um, this, is, this is a virtual connection um, because I need this to uh, send, to be able to send MIDI signals to uh, Arena to my VJ software. So in my VJ software in this case, which is Arena from Resolume, um, I need to go into the preferences and I need to activate the virtual MIDI connection as an input. So you will see here I have the IAC driver, which I just uh, routed the MIDI to in Ableton as an MIDI input. And if I want to use some uh, audio stuff in Arena as well to play some loops here. I can even um, use a clock input so I could sync the MIDI time clock from uh, Ableton to Arena as well if I want to. For, in this case we just need the MIDI input and that's fine. Sometimes MIDI is tuned differently, so it's starting from a different C, counting from a different C. You want to take middle C uh, is C3 on here because um, then it will be the same uh, note values uh, and the same pitch values like in Ableton. So this is all we need to set up to make the right connections. And now let us just have a little look at Arena. Um, um, this is my first time working with Arena, so it's not that sophisticated uh, what I can show you here, but it's, um, it's the essentials of how to set up your drums with Arena. If you want to dive deeper into Arena, um, there are other tutorials and knowledge base out there. Okay, so I have a few clips here which I can uh, trigger by clicking on and I have different effects for the whole layer or for single clips or I can even put um, effects on the overall um, output. Okay, so I can uh, trigger those fields um, by MIDI notes. So I could do this actually just by um, selecting the input from my TM2 via my Scarlett Focusrite, but because I want to play with the effects and apply different notes sometimes or cycle through a lot more than only one clip, um, I need Ableton in between. So um, let me show you what you need to set up